Hi guys, my name is Rohit and in this video I will show you how you can have a social media sidebar or you can say a social media widget bar in your website. So first of all let me just show you what I mean by social media sidebar. Here at the left hand side you can see these social media icons and uh, when I scroll down these social media icon stays at the same position. Also when I go to a new page like this one recommendation so you can see here we have these social media icons here also and they shows the same behavior here as well. Now let me just go to the blog page here and, uh, and uh, you can see here at the blog page we do not have uh, these social media icons at left but when I go to a particular blog like this one at the very first these social media icons are present here as well. So what they does if anyone want to uh, share your page so he or she can directly click over here and then they will be redirected to their you know uh, Facebook or you can say Instagram and they can share uh, your website URL in their newsfeed post or something like this so this is what we are gonna do today so let's get started first of all what you need to do you need to open your browser in my case I'm using Google Chrome here and you need to enter your domain name mine is rohitnarwal.com so this is the website in which we are gonna have a social media floating bar at the left hand side so what you need to do you need to type slash wp admin in front of your domain name and you need to fill the login details here then what you need to do as soon as you reach to your uh, back end you need to go to plugins here at the left hand side and just click over the plugins you need to click over add new then you need to scroll down and search here social share and you will see here this plugin which says social sharing plugin sassy social share so we need to install this one it has uh, 100,000 plus active installation so we need to install it first then we need to activate this plugin by clicking on activate and uh, as soon as it get activated uh, it gives us notification like this thanks for installing sassy social plugin and then it says configure the plugin so if you want to configure this you can directly go here otherwise what you can do you can just go to plugins again like this and just click over the installed plugin here and you will reach to this window you will scroll down a bit and see for sassy social share this one here and what you need to do you need to click over settings here and then you will reach to this window so this is the interface in which we are gonna modify a few things first so we have these different tabs here you need to go to theme selection and then we have this standard interface theme so first of all we have here icon preview uh, if you want to make this uh, square shaped icon so you can also choose square if you want to make it a rectangular icon so you can also choose rectangle here but I will prefer to go with round one and also you can increase or decrease the size of icon you want so let me just stick with 40 here I'll just type 40 here and then I'll go down if you want to have a color of your uh, you know icon here so you can type color code also uh, but I'll prefer here to go with the uh, you know basic one so I'll leave it as it is now we have this one also floating interface theme so this one here will determine the property of you know social icons here which we will have at the left hand sidebar uh, and which will stick on our website page so here what I will prefer on the floating interface theme I will prefer to go with square one and the size I want here is 40 so what I will do I'll just scroll down and click over save changes now and that's it so now what I need to do I need to go to standard interface here and then here I can first make sure that this section is checked and here at the target URL you can uh, choose the different URL for example URL of your web page where the icons are located or you can also choose here URL of the home page of your website so if someone shares your website link through those social icon so your home page uh, link will be shared 
otherwise you can just click here also url of your web page where the icons are located so now we will scroll down and you can also change the tag here title here uh, like for, uh, it says spread the love so i will rather stick with this one now you need to go down and choose the uh, social media platforms here so first we have facebook and then what i want here is uh, i don't want reddit here and uh, i don't want here this one mix and neither i want maybe i want here instagram to be added and i think that's it so now you need to go down and you need to make selection where you want to place these icons so i want it in home page also in my post page and my pages also so i'll mark here home page and then i move down and then i click over save changes now i need to configure the floating interface also so i'll go here and click over floating i'll scroll down first of all i'll make sure this box is checked here and then i'll go down now check and uncheck all those uh, social media icons which you like to prefer on your website so i'll uncheck maybe and mix and i'll check the instagram one and that's it and placements also you can define here now i'll go above and you can arrange them in a, a desired order you want so for example i want instagram after facebook so i'll just drag it here then what i want i want whatsapp icon after my twitter so i'll arrange them in this order and then i scroll down and just hit over save changes so now if i hover over here and just click over my this visit site option and i go to my website you can see here i have this floating icon bar at left hand side and i have the social media icon here at the top as well but i don't want this social media icon at top rather i want these at the bottom and center as well so how can i do that i need to go to this thing again here at the standard interface what you can do you can go down and you can see here we have horizontal alignment first you need to make it center and then position with respect to content so i'll make it bottom of the content and i'll uncheck the top of the content here and then i go down again and i'll save changes now if i go back to my website again and i refresh this page you can see here we have this floating icon at left hand side now if i scroll down these floating icon sticks and if i move down we can see here at the very bottom we have this social media icon with the title of spread the love let me show you in another page also let me go to services and here you can see we have this social media icon here as well now if i go to blog in blog section we don't have here but if i go in a particular blog post then we have the social media icon here also so that's it for now if you like this video then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming awesome wordpress related content so that's it thank you so much